new variant is making headlines in India's ongoing battle with COVID-19, that is XFG, as cases once again begin to climb, especially in states like Maharashtra and Kerala, this new variant has raised fresh alert among health authorities and the public. So, should you be worried about another wave or is this just another variant in the long list? Let's decode. Let's begin with the basics. XFG is a recombinant sub-variant of SARS-CoV-2 virus. That means it is a result of two earlier strains, LF7 and LP812. This happens when a person gets infected with two different strains at the same time, giving the virus a chance to mix and match its genetic material. Now, Scientifically, this is not unusual. In fact, several recombinant variants have emerged since the pandemic began. XFG belongs to the Omicron family, which has been dominant global strain since 2021. It was first detected in Canada and now it's in India with 163 cases reported so far. According to data from INSACOG, the majority of XFG cases have been found in Maharashtra with 89 cases. Other states like Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Gujarat and few from Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and West Bengal and Telangana have also reported infections. Well, interestingly, most of these cases were also recorded in May 2024, with just a few detected in April and June. It's still a small number when you consider India's vast population. But health experts are watching this closely. Now here's the key question. Does XFG cause more severe illness? The short answer is no, not so far. Like most Omicron subvariants, XFG is currently associated with mild upper respiratory symptoms, especially in people who are already vaccinated or have had COVID before. There is no evidence yet that this variant causes a spike in hospitalization or that neither the World Health Organization nor the Indian Health Ministry has labeled it as a variant of concern or even a variant of interest. However, there is one feature of XFG that scientists are keeping an eye on, immune evasion. According to reports, the variant seems to have ability to dodge some parts of our immune response. That means it might spread more easily, but it doesn't necessarily make people sicker. Doctors are urging caution, but not panic. Here's what Dr. Rajiv Bhel, DG ICMR, said on current COVID situation. Current scenario is that in some cases, it has been increased in some parts. कई देश के भागों में पहले साउथ में वेस्ट में और अब कुछ केसेस बाकी कंट्री के पार्ट में आए हैं लेकिन अगर मैं आपसे ये कहूं इस समय कोई वरी करने की इतनी कोई जरूरत नहीं है सिर्फ विजिलेंट रहने की जरूरत है जब भी कोई केस आते हैं कोविड के केस बढ़ते हैं हम तीन चीजों उसमें ध्यान से देखते हैं पहला के कितना ट्रांसमिशन हो रहा है कितनी तेजी से केस बढ़ रहे हैं दूसरा कि क्या वो इम्यूनिटी को अवॉइड कर रहा है जो पहले से हमारी नेचुरल इम्यूनिटी बनी है और जो वैक्सीन हमें लगी हैं उसके बावजूद भी वैक्सीन की इम्यूनिटी बहुत इवेड हो रही है तीसरी जो सबसे जरूरी चीज है इन दोनों से भी ज्यादा वो ये है कि क्या जो हमारी सिवेरिटी 
अभी की इन्फेक्शन्स की है क्या वो पहले से ज़्यादा है या जैसे ओमिक्रॉन की थी जैसे चल रही थी उसी तरह से लो सिवेरिटी के केसेस हैं जिसमें कि ज़्यादातर केस एसिम्टोमेटिक या जो माइल्ड सिम्टम्स के साथ होते हैं वह है कि नहीं तो ये तीन चीज़ें हम देखते हैं उससे पहले के कहने के कि किसी चीज़ को वरी करने की ज़रूरत है तो ये अभी तक इस तरह से ये अंडर मॉनिटरिंग है इसमें इस वक्त कोई बहुत बड़े कंसर्न की ज़रूरत नहीं है लेकिन हम उसको मॉनिटर कर रहे हैं और साथ साथ जो जो चीज़ें चाहिए उसके लिए तैयारी कर रहे हैं हमने सीक्वेंसिंग तीसरी चीज़ होती है कि हम देखना चाहेंगे कि कौन सा वेरिएंट आया है क्या वो कोई अलग वेरिएंट तो नहीं है तो जो वेरिएंट्स अभी तक साउथ और वेस्ट इंडिया के थे वो जो हमने कुछ वेरियंट सिक्वेंस किए हैं उसके हिसाब से ये वेरिएंट्स जो हैं वो ज़्यादा सिवियर नहीं हैं पुराने ओमिक्रॉन वेरिएंट से ये तीन वेरिएंट चार वेरिएंट्स हैं जो हमें मिले हैं एल एफ सेवन सीरीज़ है एक्स एफ जी सीरीज़ है जे एन वन सीरीज़ है और एन बी वन पॉइंट एट पॉइंट वन इन दैट ऑर्डर Now what about vaccines? The good news is India's existing vaccines, Covaxin, Covid Shield, and the newer booster doses are still believed to be effective against severe diseases from this XFG variant. As per experts, breakthrough infections might happen, especially if antibody levels have dropped, but T cell immunity, the deeper, long-lasting part of our immune system, continues to protect us from severe diseases. Let's quickly look at the broader picture now. As of today, India has over 6500 active COVID cases with 769 new cases reported in just 48 hours. Kerala is currently the worst hit state with nearly 2000 active cases. The state has already made COVID testing mandatory for anybody showing symptoms and issued fresh guidelines to public. The center has also confirmed 65 covid related deaths mostly from states like Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra and West Bengal. The emergence of the XFG variant is a reminder that covid-19 hasn't gone away. It's evolving, but for now there's no cause for alarm. Only a need for awareness. So watch out for symptoms and most importantly stay informed.